left. Hello everyone. This is our pattern control abstract piece of work which goes with our What Lies Beneath project. Okay, so first of all, you can see that I have drawn out using my pencil some just guidelines of some little shapes that I can use. Now I'm looking at using shells, seaweed, sea anemones, coral type shapes. Now I don't want specific shells drawn, okay? I just want a representation of that object, okay? So if it's seaweed, just do some floaty lines, okay? Now it's all about abstract, so don't make it too direct. Okay, we're looking at pattern and we're looking at control. Okay, first thing I've done is the, the pencil line to draw it out. Then what I've done is I've just done a couple of little bits in watercolour. Okay, now you can pick a set of colours, so purples or blues to just use, or you could do reds and yellows and oranges, or you could mix them all together. It's up to you what you want to do. Okay, I have then... Um, just giving myself some of those guidelines there to, to work from. If you don't have watercolour, you can use coffee and just do it with a, a biro and add a black biro line over the top of it. You don't have to do it in watercolour. Okay, so it's up to you, whatever you've got. Now, I've borrowed my daughter's lovely pens here. She's got lots of lovely pens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding my pattern work over the top with these pens. Okay, now control, okay, so fine liner, or you might have a felt tip. Okay, so it's up to you what you want to use. Okay, so with a fine liner, you can see I've started to add some little patterns onto here. It's up to you, just control what you're trying to do. Okay, so I'm going to go for this section over here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put smaller circles inside the circle. Okay, and then I'm going to do bigger circles coming from the smaller circles. Okay, now each one of these circle areas could be the same, but you don't have to make it the same. It's up to you. Okay, use a reference point off the internet or from Pinterest. Okay, you can outline things. Okay, make sure that you've got... Um, enough ideas to keep it going okay if you don't want them all to be the same i'm just going to use my thin ones to do the bits on the top thin ones first so if you don't want it all to be the same you could do it all differently okay so i'm just going to do a different pattern into that one there okay it's up to you building it up gradually now it's no good doing things really fast and not thinking about it okay we want it to look like something under the sea okay we want it to be uh, natural forms okay so rounded shapes and um, the seaweed going through the middle okay so thinking about what you're going to do now i haven't drawn it all out in pencils first because i want you to be brave and i want you to go for it with your pen okay so if i take a line up i'll do it in the purple okay if i take a line going from the bottom and i might do it as a bit of seaweed okay so i'm just taking it up just gradually but i'm making sure you can see i'm just taking it up gradually you can see i'm in control of my line i'm doing it different shapes but i know it's quite straight. Okay, I'm going to take it off here and I'm going to loop it around that way a bit towards the side. Okay, now if I go up the other side, just carefully, doesn't have to be equal, but I want it to be in control. Okay, so you don't have to draw everything out first with a pencil, just take your time with a pen. Okay, making sure it's nice and neat. Okay, my paper is quite thick to draw on because it's watercolour. Okay, so it's like that. So what I could do now is I could um, use another colour beside that and I could run another colour around the edge. Okay, so this is where it gets really creative and it's up to you 
what you want yours to look like okay so I might have it like that okay with a line another sort of shadowy line beside it there in the pink okay now I'm not happy with that so I'm going to do another line beside it and then I'm going to do a little bit of a line like this inside okay so it's all the little bits of detail that are going to help bring this to life okay so the more and more detail you put on this the better it needs to be totally over the top this piece of work okay so it's like zentangles if you look at zentangles okay on the internet okay so we're looking at creating i'll just finish that off in a bit a natural type of shape okay and then we're going to add different sections to it okay so i might want to do a bit of pen work coming out from there so i've got some dark green on and i put a bit of light green just shooting it off down there okay like that i want you to think of how wide lines could be so if i have if i do this one over here and the line goes out and it's got like the droopy bits on this side there like sort of like a an underwater fern a bit of seaweed okay like that you can add around the edge that's a pink um where's the blue Is that blue that's a green um a thin blue thin blue okay so adding an edge around okay so i might just want to put an edge on the bottom of that one give it a bit of a shadow okay so going over these ones again you could do that with that now if you wanted to do some more circles you might want to do a circle with another circle inside it and then fill it in like that and then the whole thing could be built up in that way okay so just lots of different ideas how to build up your drawing <laughs>